Now that we have our scenes set up and we can navigate between the scenes using buttons and we're using the frame labels to kind of help us do that as well, um, now we're going to start designing our target to shoot at or click on. So we're going to go to level one and currently it just says LVL1 in the corner. Um, there isn't anything to click on. So now we're going to design something. We're going to keep it real simple and we're just going to make an oval or a circle. Um, let's make a green circle with a black outline. So when you go back to flash, I want you to make a green circle with a black outline, and this is going to be our target. Hopefully at this point you kind of have an idea of what we're going to turn this into. Um, it could be a button, but we want to have an animation, so when you click on it, it plays the animation. Um, so the easiest way to do that is actually convert it to a movie clip. So I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to hit F8, and we're going to turn it into a movie clip. And I'm just going to call it ball. And again, we're going to register it for the center. And now we have a movie clip called ball. I want to be able to click on this, and I want it to explode or change in some way, shape, or form. So I need to get inside the movie clip. And this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but if you understand buttons and movie clips the way I think you do, it shouldn't be that difficult. So on the very first frame of the movie clip, I want to stop it. I want it to look like this until they click on it. So I'm going to select the frame and then I'm going to double click on stop underneath time client, timeline control in your actions and a little tiny A will appear. Now I want to be able to override that stop and I want it to, uh, in this case we're going to make expand so it looks like it's popping. So I need to make this a clickable object. So I'm going to again hit FN F8 or modify convert to symbol and I'm going to change the first frame of the movie clip into a button and again I'm going to register for the center and I'm going to hit OK. So if you're keeping track we have a movie clip called ball we have a stop on the first frame and the first frame of the movie clip called ball is a button. I'm going to design a code that goes on that button and that code is going to be on press. When I click on it, I want it to go to and play to. Now I'm set and ready to go. I'm going to go to frame two and hit F6. And I'm going to break apart the button. I don't want the user to be able to click on that anymore. So I hit Command B, and now I'm just going to come up with some simple animation. It looks like it's popping. Um, so I'll probably just use a basic shape tween, and I'm going to expand it out. Um, I'll center it back on that, and then I'll do something like, um, oh, maybe I'll take the alpha and make the alpha zero, and then set up a shape tween it looks like this so if I play the movie I get my intro scene I click on the button you'll see my target appears when I scroll over it it turns into a hand and when I click on it, it blows up perfect now I have my clickable object so that's kind of a lot get that together and come visit me for the next video